We remember, have remember Chino versus Frozen. Frozen. Chino versus Frozen. Hell yeah. Chino versus Frozen. And I'm actually pretty excited to see this because Petrino, his fox is very... Nutty. I would say... He's patient and then he nuts out, but it's good. <laughs> oh my god, that came off so wrong. No, that came out right. <laughs> I would say he's very spon uh, sporadic. spontaneous. Sporadic. sporadic, 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 yeah. Uh, I think you described it perfectly. He like stands still one minute, and the next minute he's just like pushing buttons all over you. But that's mad good for Fox. That is very good for Fox, yeah, because he's just he he's always have like the the knack of being able to dictate neutral pretty well and like forcing you to guess. You know? Yeah, because he's he makes you guess by like just being in a certain spot. He's like, yeah. am I running at you or not? His moves, are, his his burst range is like best in the game, you know, or like one of them at least. You know? Yeah, definitely one of the best in the game. Yeah, like up there with like Fox Ranger, and right now, uh, I would say Frozen. Probably has a pretty good understanding of this matchup. Um, Man, he's a PM player. Oh, that's that's facts. Nice two frame down smash. He's oh, not he gonna get back from there. Yeah, you don't get your jump back when you two, uh, get two frames in this game. Edge guarding from on stage, boys. All right. Ooh, scary. Boom. Yeah, oh, he read that jump. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to find a hard combo off of that, which is something like Petrino doesn't does do more than other foxes yeah. he'll like instead of going for what's true he'll go for like the harder reads to extend his combo further well you that's know? the thing about fox at that percent he actually didn't have anything true yeah all he really had was like maybe yeah like he can go for he had another up air, one you know but upper up upper after up to wasn't going to be true so it's like either go for the read or just go for another one and yeah, hope exactly. you get the read Ooh, and very good uh angle at his end yeah frozen got that that's like not like a Smash 4 or Ultimate Edge Guard. The Edge Guard's different. You can wow. see it. I'm surprised there's no run off counters right now because I feel like that would just be so optimal as um, Palu, no? Yeah, actually, you're right. Maybe he's saving it. You know, those, yeah. maybe those, those are certain things that you might, might not want to waste too early. And besides, I feel like Nair would be more optimal there because that's where you can find the kill, you know? But it's, it's uh, not, not a guarantee to hit. F tilt, not going to do it just yet. That move kills earlier near the ledge. Man, these up. What? No jump. Yep. <laughs> he just two framed them a sign. No, that's that's viable in this game. Don't let anyone tell you it's not. No, I can see that. I can definitely see the argument, but like, it just looks so so It's wonky. good because Fox naturally can't run off because he's such a fast follower that he has to double jump, then a B. Yeah. But with Shine, he just gets to double jump back on. So you get to try something and then just jump back on. Mm -hmm. I would say Petrino standing too close to him too much. Like, you're fast, so like use it. Don't yeah, just stand definitely. in front of him. Especially since Palo has those big hitboxes. She's, Go ahead, stand in front of me. Yeah, honestly. Holding job at ledge, 11, yeah. out, the 11 hit rule. If you get hit 11 times, you're uh, able to get a free invincible rule. All right, see, this is where he needs to stand more. Yeah, I definitely agree. And right now, yeah, like you said, Petrino's just like dictating neutral so well right now. Because it's like, you do that and it's like, what is Palutena, like if Palutena tries like explosive fling or auto and Fox just wants to jump right there, you got hit. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to throw that at you. Whoa, that was so <laughs> bad. Yeah, that was very, very bad. Ooh, just avoiding those auto red. Wow, that is such a good move. That was kind of wild. That was really good. I've actually never really seen that out of a spot dodge before. Neither have I. Yeah, and for like not light. to mention like the whole uh, Petrino's awareness from out from that whole situation is just very good. And right now he's gonna ban Young Lilac because we don't like that stage and Smashville. Yeah, Smash. I think those are good choices because those are like more like confrontational stages. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like you want to choose when to fight, not just fight because you don't got room. Yeah, but uh, unluckily on his end, Frozen has Battlefield. Okay, at the end said. I was going to say, I think Frozen That's has... A, I'd rather have Battlefield than like Lilac. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. The Slants can... I think... Hmm. On Palu's end, I don't think she would like Lilac too much. Just because, like, the slants may be tricky for like the recovery and stuff, you know? Yeah. Damn. Oh, they called me. I have to go. I got this, bro. I'll hold it down. Got this, bro. Hold her down. Hold this down. I got you. So. Now, this is game two in Petrino's favor. Yeah. But he kind of, like, just got those kills. In game one, like it was a little mm -hmm. weird. So I want to see him clean it up because I don't see that. If he doesn't get those again, I can see Frozen taking it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Like the way he was lining those kills, it's like, okay, you got me. That's not happening again, though. Right. Sort of thing. I, I like that. that. See, now he's standing more further away from the ledge, not like right on top of Frozen. You got to use your speed. 
You gotta like scare them into choosing something dumb. And I think that was just a bad snap. All right, we're seeing Frozen do his little edge cancels. Even though he picked FD, he still gets to uh, sneak him in. I mean, I think he's always been like the best at that. Out of the oh, games. absolutely. Is that PM, man? Yeah. It's in his veins. All Paper right. Mario World Star. <laughs> and now Frozen like he just has the control, you know? Yeah. Because now he doesn't have to worry about like Fox having to mix up any sort of landings. Because like Fox is a character that you know you're gonna kind of juggle him anyway and and edge guard him. So it's like, all right, I'll take away all the platforms and oh my god. Yo, that spot that Joe Smash was like doing some stuff. Mm-hmm. You see, Petrino runs and it stops too close to him. So now Petrino's guessing instead of Frozen guessing. And that's not how this is supposed to work. Do everything from a little further. Fox is fast enough to get there. Yeah, take advantage of the speed that you have. It's like Palu is like, she's a fairly quickish character, but like not in the same tier as like Fox. No, not even close. Exactly. So it's like, use that to your advantage. And if, I think that's the only thing you can use, because hitbox to yeah. hitbox, she's just going to keep beating you. Okay. And now this is what's frustrating. It's like, yo, I beat him in game one. Now I, I got bodied game two, and the answer is to slow it down. But it's like, yo, I just got bodied. I'm not about to slow down. I'm about to beat him up. You know, you want to beat him up so bad, you yeah. just lost game two, and it's like, no, you got to slow down Will you do it. Ooh, this is a scary pick. I think he's going Battlefield, though. No, he is. He's picking Battlefield, and uh, I'm saying, like, that's going to be kind of scary because... The thing is, like, the only thing I would see that's kind of scary is, like, the platform canceling of Bs. That's what I'm saying, though. But I feel like Fox is good for that. Fox is really good on Battlefield. I totally get that. No, but I'm saying for that specifically. Oh. Like, oh. like, if he reads one, he just has to short hop up air the platform. She gets hit. If he misses or she doesn't do it, that auto cancels you right back to where you were, bro. Okay. So I feel like that's not too bad. It's just like, I feel like, you know, Frozen is not going to, like, spam the... Uh, the. It's just going to be like, yeah. Cancels. It just becomes a, a when part I of his... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a part of his movement. It's, it's just extra utility that he's able to take advantage of. He's got to stop dumb jumping on stage. He should have went off. All right, I like that. That was pretty good. Yeah. Literally hit her that out was like of a the clear interdimensional reach. Yeah, rift. That, that wasn't like a reaction. Like, he knew he was doing that. Yep. There, dash tag. I don't like the fair. Oh, when you keep going for fair, get more damage, bro. Oh, he knows that's happening. He's like, yeah, you're not going to keep doing that. You're not going to do that. I mean, there's also the fact that it's just like, why would I bother trying to punish? You're going to grab the ledge. So if I punish, if I go for the read of the, you not going for the ledge, I, I can, might I get can, it. Actually, yeah. that's true. I never thought of that. You know, because he's already above the ledge. You can't two-frame. So, might as well try and make something happen. He needs to watch those abuse. I mean, there's not so much you can really do. Because, like, he had the option to hug the wall. He was already below it. Yeah, I don't really know what he could have honestly done. That's like, that's like Fox's ultimate disadvantage. No, yeah, you're right. But I feel like it's just a timing thing. Yeah. Because, like, when he's out there, he could, like... Definitely opt to not go for the ledge and like go for those uh, like uh, those mangles, you know. <laughs> so you just gotta make sure that you're not like running head into her. Yeah. He's gonna die now. Yeah. I don't understand why Frozen isn't just going off. I mean, to be, to be fair, the down tilts hit him like almost every time. I get, yeah, but bro, just nair. Like you literally have a constant box that like just intercepts him. You know, like you don't have to even like. I'm, you don't have to aim for timing at the start. It's just like, right. it's active, you know? I thought he was going to get up. Oh, that wasn't going to kill anyway. Up to is safe on the back of people's shields, so. Foxes? Yeah. Unless you have like one of those oh, like, on the backers. back of their shield. The back. Okay, yeah, I feel it. Okay, okay. Yeah, if they have like a up, up smash out of shield that hits both sides ah! or something. Yeah. That, that, see, there you go. That's what I was talking about. Like, Shane, he died. Oh, he missed it. That's a big choke. Not dead Ooh. yet. I like that he's like definitely still challenging, training to pressure. And wait, you great went for it when you were gonna die? He was in kill percent. He's the one for it. I mean, this guy is crazy. I mean, let's 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 just break it down there though. Like he stood there, he waited for it. You know, no, he, no, like, that was a, amazing. Yeah, it was Don't just get me wrong, reaction it was just, right there. I can't believe you're so brave. 
All right, last stock, last game. This is what I like. Yeah, we got the, the music speeding up and everything. It's going down to the wire. Da, 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 da. 22 to 12. Da, da, da. Oh. oh, that's bad. Uh -huh. Oh, you messed that up, bro. How? <laughs> that was like yours. Yeah. But okay, whatever. Still really even. I kind of feel like in a pressure situation like this, Fox might be an advantage. I would say so, because Palu has to play reactionary to him in neutral. Yeah. And like Fox is just like, yeah, when the tensions are high and you got to play reactionary to your opponent, that's not fun. <gasps> Scary. I like it. Showed your cards too early, though. Yeah. It was a good idea. Yeah, it was a good idea, but did it way too early. Ooh. I like that. I like yeah. that. Oh, read it in. Oh, my God. You didn't know that was coming, bro? You read the, You were reading that the whole game. I'm so glad that Petrino took advantage of just, like, hitting his shield with jab one and, and, then, and just then not committing. Not. That's like... Ooh, the oh. IOA, the, the IOA, yes. Ooh. Oh, that might... Dead. Yep. Dead. Yeah. You can't get sloppy with your recovery, man. You're Fox. They're, that's what they want. It's it's literally exactly what they want. It's just like he died for two side Bs. He used his jump, so that's really that's a tough situation. That's a really tough situation because like he got knocked off. See, but look, that's the side B. Yeah, that he got slot before, and then he did it right again. It's just like the big issue here is like he retreated off stage with the jump. Like what he can do is I feel like he could side B like mad low. Mm -hmm. Because Palu's Nair, it's hard for her to squeeze under the stage Yeah, when you do that. So I would like side B like super low and then try to up B above there. I feel that. All right, well. Try something different, man. Yeah. Uh, but that was, that was still well played on. for both. Yeah. No, that was a really good set. We got to see the, the schmixies from both of them. So next up is going to be Mr. E versus Zomba. This is like our region.